Fellow colleagues, friends, associates, collaborators, good morning. I am extremely elated to be presenting this feature address as part of this webinar series by the FAO in observance of World Forest Day, commemorated on 21st March each year. I am also grateful to the FAO for the opportunity to deliver the keynote address. St. Lucia joins the rest of the region and the entire world in commemorating International Day of Forests as declared by the United Nations General Assembly in 2012. As many of us already know, the purpose of International Day of Forests is to celebrate and raise awareness of the important role of all types of forests and trees outside forests as a vital source of food and nutrition, as a form of protection from diseases, combating one, the biggest threats of humanity, climate change, supporting national development, and preserving the natural environment. This year's theme, Forest and Health, highlights the essential linkages between forest, nutrition, and food security. There seem to be a growing interest in understanding the role and interconnections between the forest and human health. In addition to the food, fuel, and fiber provided by forests that supports people's health and well-being, forest also acts to regulate water cycles and filter air pollution that indirectly but substantially affect human health. For many of us, the forest ecosystem provides edible products such as fruits and leaves that contribute to a healthy diet as well as a vast array of medicinal plants used for combating and curing illnesses. The conservation, protection and restoration of our forests are undeniably critical to safeguarding and promoting human health while simultaneously contributing to managing climate change and biodiversity loss. Moreover, all our communities are supplied with fresh water that emanates from the filtering process of our forest. The hotels, the business places, our agricultural farms, and very importantly, our homes are supplied with fresh water from the rivers that spring out of the forest areas. The furniture in our homes, our significant amount of the medicines sold in our pharmacies are derived from plant-based materials. But so often, we take all these free services for granted. Furthermore, the forest serves as a sanctuary for individuals and groups who find retreat and are able to recreate at their leisure. Basically, forests and trees are the backbone that provide services that are exceedingly important to live in that, if we put a cost to, can easily run into hundreds of millions of dollars annually. We cannot avoid recognizing the ecosystem services that are generated by the forest are always totally absent from our national accounting books and that our forest ecosystems continue to face threats of being destroyed. This is a situation that we must counteract and that we must take steps to prevent from happening. I must also take this opportunity to observe the tremendous efforts of those before us who worked with heart and soul to safeguard this indispensable resource. At present, we still have about 35% of the entire island covered with natural forests and 45% of which is declared forest reserve. The other 55% of the natural forest is under private ownership. The Forestry Department is the main agency responsible for managing forest reserves on the island and continues to ensure that this important resource is guarded and protected. We continue to look for ways to further expand our forest and to prevent the destruction of existing forests. Through a 10-year strategic plan, the Forestry Department conti continues to spend significant resources on reforestation, agroforestry programs, surveillance and forest protection activities, 
and education and awareness raising. The strategic plan outlines four main strategic areas for effectively managing forest resources and wildlife across the island. They are one, maintaining healthy ecosystems and thriving species. Two, ensuring sustainable flows of products that both support local economies and conservation of biodiversity. Three, protecting water supplies, soils, and coastal zones and ensuring resilience to climate change. And four, promoting visitation, enjoyment, and cultural and spiritual enrichment. We as St. Lucians are endowed with very important forest resources that provide environmental, social, and economic benefits. The wise use of our forest resources is, is essential if their multiple values are to be maintained and enjoyed, not only by us, but also for the benefit of future generations. I therefore urge everyone to commit themselves to reducing deforestation, preventing forest de degradation, and promoting sustainable livelihoods through forest smart actions that address resilience, adaptation, and mitigation issues. Let us take concrete actions on the ground and let us acknowledge the vital role of forests in addressing climate change and ensuring resilient communities and pledge to work together to protect, sustainably manage our forests for ourselves and our future generation. Finally, forest is life. Forest sustains life. Help us sustain the forest. Trees and forests are to be loved, protected, nurtured, and enhanced for what they are and celebrated for all that they have to freely offer. They are one of our greatest national treasures that we must preserve and protect. Plant a tree today. Plant for our future. Healthy forests means healthy population. I thank you.